read all the Tony Robbins books in the world and I'm still not rich. Like, dog, I feel betrayed. I feel lied to. When you watch the ads, when you get on the webinars, it seems so simple. When you look at the testimonials from other people that's supposed to be successful, it's just like, yo, I can do that too. And then you go and try to do it and it does not work out the same way or as fast. So the saddest thing I've seen all day is this comment where um, a person commented on the last video and said that they've been trying to make money for 20 years and have not been successful. But let's flip that around. The, the most inspirational thing that I've seen all day is the fact that the same comment says, don't give up. OK, a lot of people would have you know, given up a long time ago, let alone 20 years now. That brings me to the point where I remember thinking to myself, damn, <laughs> it's been three years since I started this stuff and quit my job. It's been three years. How, cause, how come I'm still not rich yet? Some of you guys might be thinking that right now. Like, yo, I've been trying and trying and testing and, you know, switching it up. I've done multiple business models, bought a lot of different courses read all the Tony Robbins books in the world and I'm still not rich like dog I feel betrayed I feel lied to when you watch the ads when you get on the webinars it seems so simple when you look at the testimonials from other people that's supposed to be successful it's just like yo I can do that too and then you go and try to do it and it does not work out the same way or as fast, guys. And I, I get it. I remember feeling exactly like that. Like, dog, if I have to see a keyboard again, I'm going to knock somebody upside the head with it. You understand? You fall into this deep depression of, like, feeling a little bit of regret. Like, should I have left the job? Should I stay a little bit longer till something else came up or something like that? Ah, uh, man, I understand. I get it. Um, all right. So when you having those feelings, guys, what you want to remember, like when, when it when it feels like it's impossible, you you about to get a sale and then somebody flake on paying you, you know, you're running ads and you going into the red and you still haven't got a conversion yet. You understand? Or you are prospecting and you're not getting any responses that are giving you inspiration to let you know you're getting a little bit closer to the goal or whatever. Yo, I know, I feel that, you hear me? But whenever you feel like it's impossible, remember with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. So write these down real quick. All right, I want you to go to Galatians 6 and 9. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. After it says we shall reap is a comma. That means a separation of thought. OK, then it says if we faint not in the Bible, when it says faint not, that means stop or give up. OK, so if you keep going, you need to have persistence. You understand you need to persevere. You need to have resilience. All right. I understand, guys. We see other people make it in two months. We see some people make it their first week in a testimonial. We see other people make it in five years. And we're just like, damn, what is going on with me? When am I going to be the one in the video getting interviewed? Well, guess what? If you faint not, if you don't give up, you will be that person getting interviewed for your success. Don't forget. Now, one thing that could shortcut everything for you. Remember, the scripture also says before you take action, seek wise counsel. Get yourself a dang on coach, guys. They all over the place. But uh, so when you're feeling down, guys, when you when you're feeling like you might want to give up, you you saw that application and it's looking kind of tempting and everything. Dog, let me tell you a time where I was going through it. We were still on government assistance at the time, and I was trying to figure this situation out, trying to get wealthy, trying to get rich like you guys. And we were going through a rut. Nobody was buying my stuff. Like, I couldn't get clients or nothing was happening for me. I couldn't make no money. Um, so I went to this little um, interview 
and I got the job on the spot. Like I always known what to say to get jobs back in the day. So I got the job on the spot over everybody else. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this for my family, right? That's what you're thinking in your head as a man, responsibility, blah, blah, blah. Man, I get there um, to clock in. I, I go into the locker room and everything and immediately, like as I hear the voices of the other workers, I immediately start going into this panic. I could feel my skin starting to like break out in hives and bump up and my, and my skin was starting to sweat. My forehead was sweaty and I was just shaking and people were staring at me and I just ripped off the little uniform situation that they gave me at the warehouse and I ran out of there. I ran out of there. Guess what? The bills were still at home when I got there, but it just felt like I was betraying my own cause. I knew that I was like destined for something else, destined for greatness. No offense to anybody that got a job or anything, but I am supposed to leave my mark. Okay? And some of you guys feel like that too. So guess what? When you feel like going back to work, don't do it. When that idea, that's the devil coming up in your head, telling you to go back and reapply. Oh, I'll just do this for three months, save up some more money to invest. It always turns out like the people always say that. And then they never like they never leave the job again. Once God wakes you up to being an entrepreneur and shows you that there's something better out there. Don't go back into the hell house. That's like Lot's wife. Do you guys remember Lot's wife? When the angels were sent into Sodom and Gomorrah to save Lot's family. Hey, you guys are the only ones worth saving in this entire dang on city. So everybody, come on, follow the angels. Let's walk out of here. Guess what? She didn't have faith. You understand? She was so focused on what was behind her. She couldn't see the salvation was in front of her. So they told them not to look back. But she looked back. I was like, maybe it's better there. Maybe I'm missing out on some. And she turned into a pillar of salt. Now, whether you believe in the Bible or not, it's still a lesson you can take out of that. What's in your past, your job. God wouldn't have woke you up if that was supposed to be your thing. So if you try to go back, you, there's no telling what can happen to you in the future. Okay? Like you might not ever realize your dreams. You just go back to being a number. And that's the scariest thing that I can think of for you and for me. Okay? So check this out. We got Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36. For ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. All right, guys, look, listen. Now, I don't judge anybody or anything like that, but I've noticed at times when I've had financial issues uh, is because I wasn't doing right in other places either. Like in my spiritual or my, you know, like mental or my relationships and life and stuff like that. Remember, like a lot of entrepreneurs, they'll tell you how you do one thing is how you do everything. So, guys, if you're living a bad life, not saying that, you know, evil people don't get rich because they do, but they're not going to be able to take it with them. So what's the point? What profited a man to gain the world only to lose his soul? You want to get rich the righteous way. Like Abraham, Abraham was God's friend and he was so rich that he raised an army of 300 families inside his house on his land. Think of how rich you got to be to do that. And he was still righteous. So I, I just wanted to go there. But guys, check this out. Focus on getting every part of your life right so that it can match. He doesn't like us to be lukewarm, one foot out and one foot in, right? Um, I am trying to work on my fitness because it's like, okay, it's mix match. Like you want your health to be good so that you can enjoy your finances and all of that extra stuff like that, guys. Right. So uh, while we're on the topic, I ain't got no shirt on because I'm in the dang old house and I'm an entrepreneur. That's for that comment that I got the other day. Why well, you ain't got no shirt on? Are you gay? It's fitness channels all day where they ain't got no shirt on, but an entrepreneur just has to wear a shirt. 
What are you talking about? Anyway, back to focus. And I'm not wearing the same thing. <laughs> All right, we got the gray. We got the uh, black traditional. We have the red and then we have the navy blue. So all together, these are all the colors of AJU hats. So I'm not wearing the same thing every day. But anyway, um, listen, Nelson Mandela also said this. So while you're typing on the computer and everything, feeling like it's just like endless and you're distraught and you just feel like you're never going to make it, guys. Just remember this. Like Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. It always seems impossible until it's done. I mean, I'm recording on a cell phone. If you go and look up any pictures in the 80s, late 80s or the early 90s, you'll see cell phones that were the size of a freaking uh, a jug of water with a huge antenna on it. The antenna looked like the antenna on a car. And people was walking around thinking they was flying fresh with those. And it had to be somebody one day that came and said, I'm going to put a television screen on the cell phone. And everybody was laughing at them and was like making fun of them and doubting them and everything like that. The same way they doubted Noah until they was floating. But now look at these phones. Now we got a camera on the phone. We have the TV on the phone. We have the radio on the phone. And we have the laptop on the phone. We have speed dating on the phone. All of these things that just a while ago would be considered, you know, impossible. If that person gave up, we wouldn't be doing, I wouldn't be talking to you in this format right now. So I don't want you guys to give up, guys. Three years in, you're still not rich. It's okay. It's in the cards for you if you faint not. Remember, if you don't give up, it's in the cards for you, right? Before you take action, before you go out there on your own and struggling and doing all that stuff, first seek wise counsel. I have coaching, guys. I have coaching. Now, it's just about do you want to invest in coaching or not, right? I want you to remember one thing, and this might come off... Um, cocky to some people but that's not what I'm trying to do okay you I'm just gonna say it like this there's no other way to say it you're where I used to be I'm where you want to be there's a difference okay and what I'm gonna do is be able to bring it to the same level right if you're fit then I'll buy coaching from you too right so so we can all learn from each other but the point is, if you want a financial transformation, guys, I'm where you want to be. You're where I used to be. So if you're questioning, should you learn from a coach? It doesn't even have to be me. Just find someone where you want to be. OK, if they've proven it, you've seen their students with success and you've seen their success and all of that then stop with the skepticism because that three years that you've been trying and struggling at this, as you guys saw in the comment, can easily turn into 20 years. Do you really think it would have took 20 years if the brother started off with a coach? Instead of a book, instead of a course, what if you just went straight to the source? Yes, that rhymes. What if you just went straight to the coach? Boom. Talk about leverage. Talk about speed to wealth. All right. So if you do want that, guys, it will be uh, financing in the comments below. That way you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. You just go to the pinned comment um, and you go to the link and you just apply for financing. So you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. If you don't get approved, then we'll figure something else out. But at least try, guys, because I do not want this to be your story. And if you're the guy watching this with the 20 years, you, sh you get a coach, man. So that it don't be so you don't post this in 20 years from now and say, yo, I've been doing this for 40 years and I still haven't made it. That'll be the worst thing ever, man. I do not want this for you guys. All right. So let me help you guys out. Love you.